In order to build a biblical business successfully, you need to know who you are. Knowing who you are goes beyond your skills or your talents. Uh, a skill such as being good with electronics or maybe a great painter, a builder, a cook. That is part of your makeup. That is something that you can acquire. But knowing who you are can only be understood by going to those who created you. Your parents are probably your first thought. Well, we all have a mother and father and they have watched you grow and they understand from your earliest days what inspired you and how things influenced you. But even before that you were created in the womb, God created you. He knew you. He knows who you are. So how is this going to help you build a biblical business? To know that God created you and that he has created everyone is pretty awesome. So if God created you and in all intents and purposes you look different from your neighbour, even though you may be Chinese or British or German, American, you are different, you look different. Even if you're a twin, you will have differences and you will understand that you're different. And it was God that made you that way. He made you different, each and every one of us totally unique. If we are all unique, then this means that we don't actually have any competition, that we can actually live as a unique person, knowing that God created us to do something totally different from every single person here on earth. God created you and he created you in his image. And if God created you and God created you in his image, what that means is that you can get to know God to get to know yourself. It's like looking at your parents and knowing there are things about you that look similar. Perhaps you carry your mother's nose, your father's ears, even your grandfather's colour of hair. Perhaps that's come through in the, in the genetic profiling. No one else has red hair but you in the family. Well, if you know your parents, then you know yourself quite well. But if you get to know God, who has created you in his image, then you will get to know yourself. And you will begin to understand that you have an anointing, you have a birthright, and that that is just for you, that is special, that is totally unique, you are unique. And once you know that, then you can start to build a biblical business that is unique. The scripture that supports that the Lord made you, made you in his image, if you turn to Isaiah 44 verses 1 through 3, you can read that God made you, formed you from the womb. So he knew you before then. Also, if you look at Psalms 100 verse 3, you can see that God actually made you. This is such an important fundamental part of getting it right in business to build a biblical business. If you believe that you just have to be a little bit different from anybody else in that arena of business, say it's web design, that isn't what your uniqueness, your birthright, your anointing is about. It's about a calling that is special, that God has assigned just for you. It's also a promise that God has given you. The birthright that the Lord gave me to um, be a part of here on earth is the publishing industry. It wasn't something that I thought of. It wasn't something that I thought I could be a part of because I felt that my abilities were an inability in that arena. But it was something that God asked me to do that I took up the challenge to do for him 
and then he gave me the ability to do. And it wasn't that I lost any of my other talents that I'd acquired or um, skills that I'd refined over the years. It was just that it was something that was way out of my realm that he actually gave me. And it's something that I could never have known unless I'd have known God. I would never have appreciated that this was a possibility for me. It was something that is so unique to me that I know it was my anointing, my birthright from God. Knowing that I'm unique no, I means that I know that I don't have competition, that I am who I am because God created me this way. It's the foundation and it's a strong foundation because it's what God has given me to be, to do, to build on, to add to, to increase in. See, we are called according to his purpose. And we can read about that in Romans 8, verses 28 through 31. It's not something we think of. It's something he has given us. It's something that no matter how many years we live, no matter how many arenas we participate in, no matter how good we get at something, we could even rise to the very top of that skill set and be revered for it and be the leader, a worldwide leader in that arena. But it still may not be your birthright. You can only know your birthright if you know yourself and you can only know yourself if you know God. 